Hi, I am Scott James, and I'm a brand strategist here at Greenleaf Book Group. And today I'm going to talk about, as an author, how should you approach and use social media? This is a huge question. Um, and before we dig into it, um, what is social media? This is one of those terms a lot of people use in different ways, and it has a different connotation to everyone. When I think about social media, the way I define it is any media that can be used for two-way communication. A lot of times we think about it as you know, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, things like that. And definitely that is a huge part of it uh, and very important and that's what we'll talk about. But I also want to bring in you know, blogging uh, and things along those lines that can be used as two-way, uh, any way that you can communicate with your readers. So one big mistake uh, that authors tend to make is thinking, you know what, there are good networks to use and there are bad networks to use for social media. And that's really the wrong way to think about it. Um, because social media is about communication, the right network is not an objective decision. It's the network where the people who are your readers, uh, where your target market is. So that's one mistake that people will often make thinking I need to be here because that's the popular network or I need to be using uh, you know this approach and there's no right or wrong way what it is is what matches up with where your target audience is so there's three big things uh, that I use as guideposts to help people in how to approach social media one you want to approach it as a brand building exercise two you want to approach it to build relationships and three you want to approach it um, to do ongoing research so number one brand building Social media is such a powerful force for brand building and it's a huge opportunity for every author. So what that means is you can establish uh, some basic outlines of your brand through consistent messaging with consistent biography photos and consistent descriptions of you as an author across the different social media networks that you're part of. The other part is that you can be consistent in how you use and when you use different networks. So if you're a business author, and a good example of this is using Twitter. Right? If you're on Twitter and you're on it uh, every day for a few minutes and you're communicating with different people uh, and your bio looks the same on Twitter as it does on your website, as it does in your book, that's a great brand building. If you're on it a lot one week and then not, not at all for three weeks and then a lot for two days to make up for it, and then you don't touch it again for another three weeks while you travel, that's not going to help your brand. It may actually hurt you. In a similar way, if you're a fiction author, if you're on, let's say, Pinterest, and you're doing characters, uh, character uh, inspiration, if you're getting in a dialogue with other people who are really interested in seeing sort of the, that process for you, and then all of a sudden you stop, and you don't use Pinterest for another month, and then you come back and you get really intense on it, and then you leave off for another month, or you only use it for the two months around when your book comes out, that's not going to help with your brand. It's about that consistency. Uh, it's about it matching up with other places that you present yourself as an author, and it's about using it over time consistently. Step two is about building relationships. And that's actually builds off of step one, uh, putting out a consistent message. But building relationships is about using social media exactly for the social part. So you want to be talking with people, not talking at people. And that is something that a lot of authors and a lot of people in general, uh, I think, miss on social media. Yes, you want to put out links to your blog post. Yes, you want to talk about the projects that you're working on. Yes, you want to talk about interesting things that other people are putting out there. But at the end of the day, the social part of social media is about communication. Um, and that looks different on every network. But if you're in business, uh, if you're a business author, a lot of times that means doing question and answer with different people who are in your field. Uh, answering questions through social media, whether that's on LinkedIn, uh, leaving comments for people, being an active part of groups. If you're on Twitter, you know, actually engaging with people before, during, and after a conference. Those are excellent ways to use uh, social media to communicate with people. If you're a fiction author, um, using different social media to communicate with your readers. Uh, being active in 
the blog review space and talking to bloggers who are potentially interested in reviewing your book, talking to fans who are on uh, various networks, whatever that network is that your target audience is on, communicating with them before, during, and after your book release or while you're on doing a virtual tour is an excellent way to use social media. Just tweeting about uh, you know, that your book is available on Amazon once a day for six months, that's not a great use of social media. Third, a great way to use social media is research. Now, this can be research for your book, but what I mean about this is making a habit of listening using social media not just to talk about and broadcast what you're interested in, um, but to actually go on there and listen uh, to what people who are in your target market are talking about. If you're a business author, you want to be on there and looking at, you know, what are my readers or my potential customers uh, and potential clients, what are they talking about? Um, and that can give you a lot of great ideas for content to create in the future, a lot of great ideas for, you know, where your book is hitting home, and who's going to be interested in what it is that you're talking about. For fiction, seeing what your target audience is writing about uh, or in talking about on social media that isn't your book can give you some really, really interesting ideas about you know, what to blog about, what kind of events to be at, uh, and what your readers are interested in um, when they're not reading your book. And there's a whole lot of content to create around that. So those are the three big broad ideas of how you can use social media as an author. Um, brand building through consistency, building relationships by talking with instead of at people, and third, by researching and constantly listening uh, to your target market.